Well, just two days before the attack, I was performing in a big art festival. I'm a circus artist. It was a beautiful week. And then I woke up on Saturday morning my dad sent me a text message that Israel is on fire and I was like, ah, oh, it's probably just another, some alarms in the, in the south. And only after a few hours, I started a bit to understand what's going on. I sent messages to all my friends that I know they go to these kind of parties. I go to this kind of parties. It's like, I'm definitely a part of it. Well, in the morning when I got the message, I didn't took it too seriously. Again, I thought it just another normal, unfortunately I'm saying a normal situation, but then I didn't leave my phone. After a few hours when I understood what's starting to happen and I sent messages to all my friends, which most of them luckily wasn't in the party. Some was a big anxiety, anxiety and fear that I, I think I never felt, I never felt before. The, the trauma started and we're still in trauma. Like, I think everyone in Israel, oh, a big amount of people are in trauma now. I was really shocked. Like, and my mom sent me a message to, telling me there is already 100 people dying. And I was like, no, it's 100 are injured, not dead, no way. She's like, no, no, they're, de they're dead, they just didn't put it on the news yet. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. And I didn't know the numbers just going higher and higher and higher, and they're still going higher. Well, you know, the Jewish people, when someone die, uh, we sit uh, seven days. It's called Shiva. And what happened in the 7th of October, I think that a whole country sat for like two weeks, for 14 days, because you keep getting more and more information about people that you know that are dead. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it was two weeks. I was on freeze. Just, I, I barely left the house. When I left, I went to volunteer, helping some kids from the south that got out from their home to collect some clothes and food for soldiers and families that don't have home anymore. But other than this, I was at home with my phone, trying to get some control by like, may maybe if I'll know something, I'll be more in control, but you just get more and more anxiety. You don't have any more Sunday and Monday. And since the 7th of October, you had like two weeks that you don't know what date is. Or but I didn't sleep in the night. I slept only a few hours in the morning. Like everything is... Um... No. I don't think life can be back to normal after something like that. But yes, we're doing our best to keep living. After two weeks, I went back to work, teach circus, and we try to keep going. But the death and the fear and the depression, it's there. And the hostages that we're, we're still waiting for them to come back, and all our friends that are in the army now and our families. So no, nothing is normal, but we continue to live because we have to. And I think this is the way also we're gonna win. Like uh, that we keep, we keep going. And we'll have, we'll have uh, time to, to grief and, and be sad for all the lost. We'll, we'll have more time for this. And now we really must like fight. Like we have no choice really. Since the 7th of October, I never been more proud to be Israeli than I am now. Yes, we have a lot of, a lot of problems here, but the unity that I feel from people, like everyone got together, everyone, religious, not religious, left, right, it's like just people are getting together to help. And there is also a feeling of like understanding, even like, I don't know, I feel it in a bar or in the street that there is something more, um, and I hope it will stay, yeah, but something like, yeah, more gentle and soft between people. And everyone lost someone, like my, my Facebook page became like posts about people that are dead or missing. That's my Facebook. You know, as a woman in Israel, also specifically as a woman, there is a basic sense of confidence that, uh, got broken 
uh, women got raped brutally and children as well and murdered and kidnapped. In the worst night nightmares they could imagine, I would never imagine something that is close to what happened in the 7th of October. Israel has not just the right but the duty to do anything that she can to protect, to protect Israel. And the war is not between Arabs and Jewish people. It's between Israelis and everyone that are in Israel against terror. When the terrorists came to Israel, they, they, they wouldn't ask you if you're a Jew. They killed everyone. They killed Arabs, Bedouins, Thai people. They killed dogs, cows. They killed anything that was in front of their eyes. And the war now it's against terrorism. Terrorism that I think that, I think that the modern world never saw something like that. And I think Israel doing the best that she can in the IDF to not harm civilians. Yes, civilians getting hurt in both sides. But Israel doing the best she can.